atherosclerosis is a disease where there is the accumulation of lipids and other debris in the walls of the large and medium arteries. The main uncontrollable risk factors include genetic predisposition, age and gender. The chief controllable factors are due to lifestyle and comprise mainly of hypercholesterolemia, weight gain, hypertension, inactivity, diabetes and smoking. Increased low density lipoprotein in blood plasma can passively diffuse through the endothelial cell tight junctions and begin to accumulate in the intima. The retention of this LDL is mediated by interactions between matrix proteoglycans and apolipoprotein B. The LDL in the intima is then modified by enzymes through oxidation, lipolysis and proteolysis. Examples of these include myeloperoxidases, lipooxygenases, NADPH oxidases and nitric oxide synthases. Oxidized and partially oxidized LDL damages the endothelial cells, causing them to produce adhesion molecules such as macrophage chemotactic protein 1, interferon gamma, integrins, selectins and macrophage colony stimulating factor, all of which attract monocytes from the blood to the lesion site. This causes monocytes in the bloodstream to undergo marginalization, endothelial rolling, adhesion and then migration through the endothelium. This process is mediated by selectins, integrins and vascular adhesion molecule 1. The monocytes migrate across the endothelium into the subendothelial space in the intima via junctional adhesion molecule A and platelet adhesion molecule which are expressed on leukocytes and concentrated at endothelium cell-to-cell -cell contact junctions. The monocytes that have migrated into the intima proliferate and differentiate into macrophages, initiated by macrophage colony stimulating factor and other chemokines. Macrophages then phagocytose the oxidized LDL molecules, mediated by scavenger receptors SR-A and CD-36, leading to foam cell formation. The macrophages appear foamy due to the fact that they cannot break down the lipids which they have engulfed, hence the name foam cells. Macrophages also produce an enzyme which makes hypochlorous acid which has the capability to modify and oxidize lipids in the intima, therefore attracting more monocytes to the lesion and furthering plaque development and endothelial cell injury. The endothelial injury caused by foam cells leads to the release of vasoactive substances such as cytokines and growth factors. This causes vascular smooth muscle cells to proliferate and migrate from the media forming a layer over the damaged site. These vascular smooth muscle cells produce extracellular matrix proteins further contributing to plaque development and fibrotic cap formation. Under the fibrotic cap a necrotic core develops consisting of foam cells, dead cells, lipids and connective tissue. This forms as macrophages release metalloproteinase which degrades the extracellular matrix and causes the macrophages to apoptose. This is the atherosclerotic plaque. The buildup of plaque is responsible for three main complications in atherosclerosis aneurysm, ischemia and embolism. As the plaque weakens the vessel wall, it becomes more prone to aneurysm, which may lead to internal hemorrhage if the aneurysm ruptures. Plaque and thrombi buildup in the vessels can disturb the lamina flow of the blood, causing inflammatory and coagulation factors to contact the vessel wall and activate. This causes further vessel damage. If the plaque sufficiently occludes the vessel, ischemia may occur in tissue distal to the occlusion, resulting in necrosis and apoptosis. Finally, embolisms of plaque or coagulated blood form at the atherosclerotic site and may break off and occlude vessels in other areas of the body such as the carotid or coronary arteries. This may lead to heart failure or a stroke.